my name is Susan harris rimmer I'm from the Asia Pacific College of Diplomacy here at the Australian National University and it is my very great pleasure to welcome today to one of our uh, diplomacy lectures, David McNair. Uh, David McNair is the Director of Transparency for the One Campaign. Now most of people know of the One Campaign through its link to Bono, the lead singer of U2. The One Campaign has done a huge amount of work to focus attention on the need to reduce poverty around the world. Also is very famous for its HIV uh, action campaign called RED and is here in Australia in the lead up to the G20 summit in Brisbane in November. One had a very successful launch of its latest campaign, the Trillion Dollar Scandal, at Parliament House today. And we're interested in asking David how the messages are being received in Australia, what is the role of one in this, in this campaign or in this global movement uh, to deal with tax evasion and corruption, and what the G20 leaders should do about it. So I'm going to start by asking David to tell us what is the Trillion Dollar Scandal? Thanks, Susan. And Basically what the report that we published today is saying is that developing countries are losing at least a trillion dollars every year as a result of criminality, bribery, money laundering, tax evasion and corruption. Uh, and the uncomfortable truth is that whilst people often think of corruption being kind of something that happens in developing countries, it's quite often facilitated uh, by G20 countries and the policies they've put in place. So we uh, estimate that if you could clamp down on this problem, and we believe that the G20 can, uh, that it could unleash enough revenues to pay for the health services that would save the lives of 3.6 million people every year. Uh, so that's obviously a kind of critical uh, human impact that is something that the One com Campaign cares about. Um, but also, you know, the G20 has prioritised economic growth as its number one objective. And actually the evidence in the report shows that you can't really be serious about economic growth without being serious about clamping down on corruption because it inhibits private investment. It acts as almost like a tax on small businesses. Uh, it undermines trust in public institutions and in businesses. And, and really, you can't have an effective, growing, functioning market which creates jobs uh, unless you deal with this problem. So how was it, this message received today from Australia, who is about to host the G20 summit? What was the parliamentary reaction? It's been a busy day with the, the mining tax and, and lots going on. Uh, but actually we had a lot of interest. A number of MPs and senators came along. Uh, we had uh, Alan Tudge uh, speak, uh, and he gave us a very clear signal that, speaking on behalf of the Prime Minister, that the, the, the G20 presidency really cares about these issues and wants to drive things forward. Now what we, what we need to see is for political capital to be spent on making this work because the G20 is a diverse group um, and not everyone in the G20 really wants to see progress on these issues. So it requires the Prime Minister to be picking up the phone, calling other leaders and, and making this happen. Uh, and we're, we're really pushing for, for him to do that. 